Hello everyone, I am Dr. Madhadar and you are watching Scardia.com. Today our topic is the neck deformities. In this, we will be discussing different problems of the neck which may be faced by the newborns or infants and they may be associated with the problems of the adults as well. Neck pain is quite a very common symptom and you a lot of patient complaints of neck pain. There could be a lot of differentials of the neck pain. So you need to take a very clear and concise history as well as the examination so that you can rule out what exactly are the differentials and what is the diagnosis of a neck pain the patient has presented with. We will be discussing the torticollis that is the tilting of the head. We will be detail, we will be discussing that in detail that what is congenital muscular or infantile torticollis and what is secondary torticollis. Infantile torticollis usually presents with, within the first year of life and the problem is with the sternocleidomastoid muscle. In utero, there is actually intercompartmental or there is compartment syndrome of sternocleidomastoid which leads to avascular necrosis and eventually fibrosis. When the child is born, this child usually presents with the there is a palpable nodule in the neck along with the tilting of the head and uh, rotational deformity of the chin and neck. And usually secondary torticollis is underlying to problem which may patient may be absolutely normal but post of a uh, usually like a grisle syndrome or some form of a tumor or some form of trauma, this may patient presents with a uh, torticollis like picture. From then onward, we will uh, once we have discussed the infantile uh, congenital torticollis and secondary torticollis we will moving onwards to a problem which is very uh, important as compared to torticollis although it's not as common as torticollis but it must be kept in the differentials of the congenital muscular torticollis that is the clipple field syndrome and atlanto axial rotary instability now clipple field syndrome although very rare but there is a classical triad of low hairline neck, there is a limitation of movement depending upon where the problem is along with the uh, uh, webbing of the neck as well. And why this web and cross limitation actually occurs is due to where the problem is at the uh, which level. If it is above C3, this is usually either the axial uh, suboccipital or subaxial spine is involved. And this leads to actually the fusion of certain different segments of the cervical spine. Mainstay is actually observation, but if the fusion is above C3, you need to counsel the patients and the children for not to perform contact sports in later in life. But if the problem is below subaxial, then you need to tell them that although he or she is at high risk, but he or she can play at least contact sports such as rugby and back and football. Then onward, we'll be discussing briefly the atlantoaxial rotary instability, which could be present with uh, in children as well as in adults as well. Most commonly, it is associated with patients of rheumatoid arthritis, Down syndrome, or even in children, they can present with Morquet syndromes as well. And we'll be briefly touching on whether what are the different types and how we can correct it and what is actually the treatment directed with the atlantoaxial instability. From then onward, we'll be moving on to one of the very uh, common problems, especially the acute intervertebral disc prolapse. We'll be discussing this uh, clinical picture, signs, symptoms, what to look for on X-rays, and how to treat acute intervertebral disc prolapse, which may be initially conservative in form of bed rest, uh, NSAIDs, maybe it requires injection and steroids as well. But then once the patient is educated enough and you avoid those activities, but still if this uh, vertebral collapse recurs or there increase episode of recurrence, then we may have to go for some form of a surgery. And cervical spine usually involves ACDF, that is anterior corpectomy and microdiscectomy along with the fusion. And nowadays there's an event of CDR, that is cervical disc replacement, because usually replacement actually cures the patient with the disease also and uh, does not actually result in the limitation of movements which is, is associated with the fixation. If you want to keep uh, viewing, uh, keep watching scardia.com and if you want to go for some other topics, for example, which will be related to shoulder, elbow, head, hip, knee, or uh, ankle, then you can go to scardia.com and uh, view all those web, uh, videos which are available over there. Thank you very much. Keep watching scardia.com.